You may see smoke, even some flames, and especially if you're in the Alpine area today. In some cases, those flames and smoke right up against people's property lines. Multiple agencies are doing controlled burns in that area because we've had so little rain up to this point. They gave uh, 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie some rare actions to show you how they are trying to prevent devastating wildfires. This part of Alpine actually hasn't burned since the 1970s. So some of the old growth is getting cut down, piled up, and as you can see, burned in controlled sections while the humidity is high and the temperatures are low. Creating a defensible break between the Cleveland National Forest and the community in Alpine, in some cases means these small fires come right up to people's property lines. But in a year when it's been so dry, Cal Fire says this work, which is a joint effort with multiple agencies involved, is critical to keeping dry brush from becoming the next out of control wildfire that threatens people's lives and homes. For specifically for wildland fire in California, there's no such thing as an easy year. Um, you know, we all know uh, and we've known for decades that, that this is just where we're at. This is what happens in San Diego. So you need to be prepared to, to respond at a moment's notice, but there is a, a certain amount of uh, uh, preparedness and, and prevention that the public uh, uh, is responsible for also. This is actually the last portion of the project. They hope to have it completed today before the weather changes tomorrow. In total, about 160 acres. In Alpine, Mary McKenzie, 10 News.